Hello? Can people hear me now? Awesome. Yep. Cool. Technical difficulties. Hey everyone, we'll just give it a couple a couple of minutes for folks to join. I put the meeting notes in the chat. All right, I'm gonna paste the notes in the chat. Please put in your name and this whether you have any updates or if you're a new member. Right. We also need um, a scribe. If anyone can volunteer to scribe, that would be awesome. Thank you, guys, again. Okay, so uh, let me just put it in the chat once more for those people that just joined. <clears throat> cool, so before we start, um, just a reminder that this meeting is being recorded. It's actually being live streamed to YouTube right now. Um, so participation in meetings is abiding by the CNCF as well as tax security code of conduct that can be found in the repo. Um, thanks Ash for subscribing. Um, for existing members and working group reps, please remember to include your organization or company alongside the working group you're involved with in the update, which looks like most of you have already done that. So um, I think we have a pretty light agenda for today. Um, so uh, just a, a really quick update. Um, I'm not sure the axles of the call. We had a discussion um, previously um, on whether we should kind of change the format of these meetings, whether we should skip every other week, uh, make the second week lighter. Uh, it seems like the poll results seem to indicate that we should try out this having every other week's meeting be kind of a light, light update meeting. So since we have the light agenda today, maybe we'll try and, try and uh, strive for that. Um, so <clears throat> I don't think we have any new members on the call today. Um, so I'm going to skip that. Um, we don't have the triage today. That's out. Um, TOC meeting updates. Uh, we presented uh, the weekly update, not weekly update, the monthly update to TOC. Um, so that's done. Um, basically, was a, was a quick update on the stuff that's going on in the group with the reference architecture that Michael will talk, talk a bit about soon. Uh, we also extended the nomination deadline, which I'll okay, talk a bit about soon on the TLs. Uh, and on top of that, just an update on the security assessments. Uh, Argo is going to be the upcoming one. And then we have Captain, K-E-P-T-N, and um, Litmus, KL okay, Litmus, uh, also in the queue. So that's the TOC update. 
Um, so maybe you'll go through quick updates on projects. Um, Michael, you said you had a update, right? Yep. Um, so uh, by and large, the uh, the reference architecture, um, the, the uh, and I will um, copy that and paste it in the, the, the chat here in a second, um, is, is more or less uh, done. Um, at least the draft uh, is done. We will, we will be reaching out shortly to for uh, RFs, or, you know, request for comments from the community. Uh, and um, yeah, it's, it's it's looking good. Uh, we're trying to do you know some stuff on that front. And then in addition to that, one thing to sort of add in there is we do now have a repository which we are looking to eventually get more integrated with the actual CNCF side. Um, this is uh, based on, you know, it's a lot of work based on a lot of the demos that a lot of folks throughout the community have done. And then we've sort of begun to tie together to start to build a real reference architecture. Um, sorry, not reference architecture, a, a prototype implementation of the reference architecture. Um, looking for a get, you know, issues and yada, yada. There's going to be some, over the next couple of weeks, there's going to be some pretty big rewrites of thing. Um, looking for any and all contributors who, who would, who, who want to, um, start to help on that out, uh, help out on that as well. Um, and uh, as far as sort of next steps, we're also looking to uh, start to partner with some other folks throughout the community, uh, like for example, Salsa, to see how we can sort of say, hey, Salsa is a is a you know a framework that is um, going in popularity throughout the community, and uh, can we take that sort of reference? architecture that we built and say, how do we tie that into what Salsa is doing so that we can say, hey, if you follow this reference architecture, you should be getting this level of Salsa artifact, that kind of thing. Awesome. Thanks, Michael. Um, <clears throat> John, um, do you want to give an update on security pals? Um, awesome. Yeah, it's uh, a little quiet. I've been busy the last few weeks. So apologies. Um, so where I'm right now, I think we, I think that's pretty much wrapped up. Um, I've got a draft of what I want to sort of both put back into that um, issue as well as there's another issue that Emily had wanted me to put some comments into. So I think I sort of um, figure out where we are, what we've done with it, um, and then I figure out what the next steps are. So I think that's where that is right now. Awesome. <clears throat> awesome. Do you think you can, um, when do you think would be a good time, I think, to kind of come to the meeting and talk a little bit about the experience and kind um, of the fine things? How about a week or two? Okay. Well, we can schedule something then. Yeah, it's, 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 I'm pretty much ready to go, but just sort of let's figure out schedule on it. I'm happy to do it. Awesome. Yeah. So just, um, I think, Emily may have mentioned this to you. Um, I think one of the other projects that are looking for, um, something I could uh, to go into the security pal um, system is Argo. Um, yeah, um, so I reached out and talked to them. Um, this is something I, I've never got back to following up with, with her on. Um, there seems to be a disconnect. So the way they think they're doing and some of the things they're doing versus some of the other folks that you know brought that up, um, it seems like people are sort of out of line. I think they're doing a little better than people think. Um, but happy to talk about that as well and put it into some notes somewhere. Awesome. Yeah, maybe we can chat about that. Let me let me pick up from where Emily left off and then mm -hmm. we can we can figure out how to go forward. Awesome. Thanks, Sean. Um any other updates from other projects? Yeah, I have update from serverless. Um I did review the white paper that was being written. Um, there are some sections which need more work. So I've provided that feedback to the team that is working on it. Um, after those sections are filled out, I think we can open it up for comments. Awesome. But paper is quite light, I would say, um, considering that the CSA paper was very heavy, right? That was a 80 page document. So <laughs> we are publishing like five pages here. So um, um, need feedback from the rest of the team because we don't want to really overlap with what CSA has already done. So it'll be good to get some people to look at it and get comments. So, Thank you. Thanks, Rana. 
Yeah, I like sharp papers. Sharp papers are good. Um, all right, anything else from the audio? Any significant updates from audio controls? Um, cognitive security map groups. All right, if not, a uh, quick shout out for security reviews. I got an update from Matthew. So Argo is kicking off um, for the security review. So if you are interested in participating in one, uh, Argo is the one that's gonna be kicking off soon. Uh, I put the issue in the chat. So if you're interested, please go ahead and comment and um, put your conflict of interest um, declaration there. And then that will be starting off soon. Uh, of course, if you have any questions about security reviews or how to participate, please feel free to, to drop um, drop in the chat, uh, in the Slack channel and ask around. Cool. If not, I think we can um, get into what the agenda items for today is. So the first one is just a reminder on uh, the community, community um, nominations for technical leads. We've extended this because a lot of folks were basically busy during KubeCon. So uh, we figured we're gonna give a bit more time uh, for people to, to, to get their nominations together. Um, so for those that are not familiar with this, we have a document um, that talks a little bit about this. So the deadline is gonna be 13 November. Um, and we are going by the community nomination, um, which I will put the link to in the chat. Awesome. So that's a quick announcement. And any questions, comment on that? So Brandon, the deadline is November 13, just to uh, repeat. Yeah, November 13. Three zero, right? Oh no, one three. One three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. All right. So I think the next um discussion point is white paper V two Pushka. Are you are you on? Yes. Can you hear me? Can, can everyone hear me? Yep. Okay. Cool. Um, maybe I can share screen so it is easier to discuss. All right, can everyone see my screen and how is the font looking like? That's good. Okay, cool. So just to recap, we created a white paper, uh, the first one before the supply chain, uh, maybe a couple of years ago now. Uh, you know, well, not a couple of years, but in November, 2020. So almost one year. So the idea is now, after that, so much of work has been done and we as a security industry also has evolved uh, into different threats, taking more importance and then most of our group creating so much more new content. So the idea was it would make sense to have a version two white paper published around uh, KubeCon EU, which would be in May next year. And uh, this was one of this was the list of things that at least I could come up with that might be useful to add, edit, and update. So there is a lot of stuff to do, uh, but it's also very uh, specific and clear. So there is good opportunity for, I think, new contributors to jump in and really make some substantial contribution to the white paper. What uh, I'm looking at in terms of timeline and something I want to discuss is around end of this year, we can start working on creating content for all of these updates and have some draft ready. Then once all of us are back from New Year's Eve uh, in Jan, Feb, we can start doing reviews, make more updates. And then after that, we'll freeze uh, the edits and just open it up for comments to everyone else who is not in the group. Then we'll do final reviews with TOC and tags. This is very similar to the kind of process we followed for version one. 
and then the idea would be to publish it with an accompanying blog uh, around uh, kubecon eu so we we have some uh, quite eight or nine people already who have said they would be interested my maybe one or two things i wanted to discuss with everyone today was do you see anything else we should add that's not already here and uh, second thing would be if you haven't shared your interest just add a comment here so we'll know whom to reach out and after we have a good enough idea of what to update i was thinking of creating one issue for each of these deliverables and then people can assign it to themselves so we'll meet one or two times and then see where we go how does everyone think about the plan i think that means it's perfect <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome um, I, I would, uh, maybe something that, that we could also add to this is kind of to review, uh, the micro survey results. Um, I'm not sure whether it's already on this. I, I haven't gotten through. Yeah. Uh, I think micro survey isn't there. So that's a good point. I'll add that. Okay. Um, another thing, um, that we could add also, um, I'll wait for you to finish typing so you don't have to multitask. Go ahead. Um, so Aradnam, uh, myself and, and Emily got into contact with NIST during um, Coupon. Mm -hmm. um, this is around the software, secure software development um, framework. Paper. Right. Um, so really it's targeting at, you know, here some guidelines around you know, how to manage uh, software development lifecycle with the EO and things coming in within mm -hmm. the pipeline. Uh, and I think one thing that they've mentioned is they're working on this idea that they would be able to link to all the public resources around, you know, how do you do certain controls and things like that. Right. Um, so one of the things that, that we, we chatted very briefly about is uh, we could have, um, so I'll, I'll put the link of, to the document, but it's kind of like the NIST 853 where they have like different controls. Right. Um, so I think the idea is we could do some of the mapping of the SSDF, um, do some of the parts of the part paper that we're writing. What was the acronym you mentioned? Uh, SSDF, it's a secure- Software development framework. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay, yes. yeah. got it. I mean, I mean, we did draft. actually provide a lot of feedback to them uh, when they provided the draft. Um, I yeah. think Brandon, myself, and Emily worked on that. Uh, they were not able to incorporate everything because the level of detail we were providing, the paper was intended to be a high-level overview of those mm -hmm. controls, but our controls were very, very fine-grained. But um, eventually, these fine-grained controls have to map to that standard, right? Um, they want to provide that mapping. So now they, what they want us to do is all the controls that we have proposed in different artifacts. We want to have some kind of reference numbers back and forth so people can map them out. Yep. Ah, okay, I see. So is this uh, framework published already or it's yes. in draft? Draft, oh, it's published. draft is published, but the, okay. you know, NIST drafts are out there for six to eight months right. or a year sometimes. Um, it's still a draft, but people are using it. Okay. I, I don't think it would be uh, like, they usually don't change that much like this thing to life cycle. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, what, maybe one question is, do we need to uh, sort of align our timeline with any of the draft? No being timeline. To... No, no okay. timeline. Yeah, they don't have any timeline per se for their draft either. And it's, okay. an, it's a pretty wide timeline, so we don't need to worry about it. We have time, I would say. Uh, right. Only next year we take that on, but we should share our feedback here as well, Brandon. Right, the, the spreadsheet we had sent to them with all the feedback. I think that'll be good. Yeah, um, have those requirements mapped out anywhere in our artifacts. We need to get them in as well. Yeah, let's let's kind of clean up the document and and make it a bit more more streamlined. I know we just had like copy like big chunks of data everywhere, <laughs> so maybe yeah, let's put in a a proper sheet and then and then. Uh, make it public. 
Yeah, we got only a weekend to work on it. Like we were told on a Friday that <laughs> Monday is the deadline. So. <laughs> yeah, we are, but but we we wrote a lot of things. Um, uh, and you know the, the the feedback was like they tried to incorporate some of it. Obviously, some of it was difficult to, but also, mm-hmm. you know, it's this this particular document was targeting not only cloud native things. Um, so some of the things they really had to kind of leave still very broadly because um, of legacy and like um, how, how people do things in the industry today. Right. Right. Um, they also uh, mentioned that they would be have someone that we could probably talk to to figure out that. So there's, there's someone on the NIST side that has read our white paper and they're open to start a conversation there to say that, okay, maybe there are a few things that are missing that we should add in as well. Yeah, I think that would be helpful. Is there a person already we know or they oh. are going to figure it out? There is a person. We, we just have to you know, make the connection. Um, you know, once, I think when, when, when this gets started, we can we can put you in contact with, with them yeah. and then we can figure it out from there. Okay, yeah, yeah that works. Okay. Um, let's let's add this to the to the bullet in case in case. Yeah. So in terms of mapping, I'm almost thinking this would be like if we have a section in a white paper, we see which of the guidance in that framework this belongs to, and there is some level of either a hyperlink or an appendix which maps the tables. I have a table of number, mapping yeah, control or number, numbers. Yeah, okay. I think the idea is they are working on a scraper that would just like be able to link to different documents based on like finding right. the keyword. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. I think this is going to be good addition as well. W- one question I have for uh, people who worked on this in the past with me for version one, I feel like Google doc was very helpful for collaboration and making quick edits. Would we want to convert our markdown of version one into a new Google doc and start there? or people have some other suggestions now that we have like the actual content already there and just edits and um, new stuff being added. This is uncharted territory, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> An option if, if people want to keep it marked down but want a collaborative editor, HackMD right. might be something to look at. Oh, that's a, that's a good idea, actually. I, I do like yeah. that. Yeah, because HackMD yeah. works really well. Yeah. yeah, I I am I I think I like hacking be myself as well. Only thing I re- realized uh, from the experience of the security false cloud native eight uh, reviews was people found it really hard or new for themselves to add a comment or review it. So I had to actually convert the cloud native eight from HackMD to Google Doc, and then I started getting a lot of comments and feedback. So just from that perspective, I almost feel like whether we are stick with we have to stick with something that people are more familiar versus something that will have less work for us. Awesome. This is very exciting. Um... Okay, so I think next step for me uh, would be maybe we'll wait until next week uh, meeting uh, to see if people add more comments uh, in terms of if they are interested and then we'll set up our first call uh, to sync up perhaps maybe before Thanksgiving so that we have a good idea of where we are and then we start our updates in December if people are not available in December we move the deadline by a few days and continue in January. Yeah I I, I think that was one of my concerns as well I think the the um... The prospect of doing this through like Thanksgiving session, right? a lot of people are going to be missing. Yes. Um, so, so maybe perhaps the suggestion would be to do the um, scoping, you know, at least have a scoping meeting or like a initial ideation, brainstorming um, by, by December. And then, you know, we'll come back again in January to, to start start putting the work together okay i like that idea awesome cool and yeah please um go ahead and and post this in the 
uh, in the Slack channel as well. Mm -hmm. And also, if you want to ping Ragashri, she can also post, give her like a short, short tweet. Or you have if you tweet something out, she can use the CNCF account, uh, CNCF tech security account to, to retweet oh, it. Oh, well. I see. Oh, the Raccoon account. Yeah, but okay. it's new. No, giving it a shot. I see. Okay, I think that works for me. Um, anything else or any other feedback uh, that people would want to add or have about the process also in general? Okay, so awesome. if nothing else, thanks a lot. Uh, I'm really excited. Let's see how we uh, cross this and publish it. And it's always fun being in uncharted territory. <laughs> awesome, thank you, Pushka. Um, the last agenda item that we had um, was actually, I, I added it hoping that Matthew was gonna be on the call, but he's not on the call. So I'm gonna just defer that to next time. Um, so they can talk a little bit more about his work there. Um, if not, that's all that we have for this meeting. I saw a few other people join. Is there anyone that's new that would like to introduce yourself before we, we call it a day? I, I have one. Um, sorry, Arana, go ahead. No, no, after you. Okay. Yeah, I, I was going to say I have one unplanned uh, item that just came to mind. If people don't have anything else, we can discuss that. All right, go for it. So we uh, closed the Cloud Native 8 for public comment last week on Friday. So now we have feedback uh, that we needed. I think it is in good shape and we need to figure out where does this land and maybe it lands in multiple places maybe it lands in one place obviously white paper could be one good place where we can put it uh, and it mm -hmm. can stand on its own in the white paper other piece kind of tied to white paper i was thinking was cloud native security map where we have a website and much of it is coming from white paper so either as a side effect of this getting into white paper it can go into the map or we can just put it in the map first, just so that people can start consuming it without waiting five months more, six months yeah. more. Yeah, I, I, I think um, in, in terms of repo wise, um, definitely kind of like being a, a separate resource, but we were hoping to kind of consolidate the website to be able to include um, basically any of the resources within the repo. So eventually the, the cloud native security map itself now is like a website that holds the cloud native security map. Uh, we eventually want to make it a website that holds everything in the repo. And then, you know, um, and um, the, the person that who wrote this, I'm like, blanking on the name right now, um, he designed it in a way that it would basically read smart down files and then just displace them. So, um, I think one of the things that we're hoping to do is to find a few folks that are like um, interested in developing this a little bit more. Um, but I agree in the meantime, you know, we can take the copy of the that we put it in the main repo uh, and then we can also mirror it on the, the cloud native security map site. Okay, that works for me. So I'll start a PR for putting it in the repo. And yeah. once that is done, we can Maybe I can ask someone who's worked on the map, how do I make it a part of the website itself? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think you can you can just ping me on that. I've okay, been kind sounds of playing good. Around with it. Yeah. Cool. Uh, any other any other things that anyone wants to bring up? Um, Arana, I just saw your your comment. Um, we are still having weekly meetings. It's just every other meeting will be shorter. Got it. Thank you very much. Yeah. I thought you were going to give us a month off, right? So I wish. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I'm, I'm secretly hoping for that. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe, I, I think, like, I feel like when we get to the 
uh, and maybe in a couple of weeks we'll see because it's like Thanksgiving and then Christmas and New Year. We may end up having only just like one meeting in December, um, which will be our month off, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure that out. Um, any other any other things for folks? No, I awesome. think we're good. Awesome. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.